Happy Friday, everyone. I was going through Reddit again and looking through some comments and questions, um, and someone had shared that they felt like a failure as a therapist because they had a lot of clients cancel back to back to back. And I wanted to share a couple thoughts about that from my perspective. Um, yeah, and so let's just jump right in. And, and so the first thing I want to normalize and I like to talk with people about is that when a client cancels, no matter what the reason, it usually stings. Um, and not sting in like a really bad, nasty way, um, but I wanna propose that it stings because you care. You care about your clients. You want them to do well, you look forward to meeting with them, right? So a lot of times we're gonna feel it when they cancel. It's not just some sort of neutral, benign event. In fact, we have a reaction to it. Now, I do also see um, that Therapists will often, especially people who are maybe new in the field, they'll typically say things like, oh, you know, I had all these cancellations. I must be doing something wrong. Now, my comment to that is let's not totally dismiss that thought, and we'll get there in a second, but let's not buy into it either, um, but really let's adopt a curious mind and kind of figure out what's going on. So the first thing I like to do is kind of think about the reasons for all the cancellations. Now, when we have one cancellation, like, you know, one per week or something, we know that's just standard, you know, that happens. We're not usually questioning it. Uh, people usually start to question when it's like back to back to back cancellations or a lot in a small amount of time. And so we want to think about that. And so, yeah, we, I mean, we'll just simply we want to take inventory of the reasons for the cancellations. And, and you, you know, the clients will usually tell you or you can ask, um, right. And so most of the time, you know, you'll kind of find that, you know, maybe a client had a child that got sick or their car broke down. And sometimes there's just like coincidentally a ton of clients in one small period of time have things like that happen. And we don't have to think much about it. You kind of want to hold that in the back of your mind and just kind of see, well, does that happen next week and the week after? Right. And so if it's just one week and there's a bunch of cancellations and it doesn't happen again, then we can kind of move on and say, OK, coincidence. A lot of clients had things happen. They canceled. We move on with it. Right. Um, and a lot of times that's that's the case. Um, the other thing we do want to think about, though, is like the season. Right. So sometimes we'll notice more cancellations in uh, the summertime. It's summer break. You might notice a lot more cancellations during the holiday season. People are traveling to see family and there's holiday parties and all sorts of things like that. So you also want to think higher level and think about the season and is it a time where clients are more likely to cancel. Um, and then the other thing you do want to think through is it's always a good time for personal reflection, whether that is a quick personal reflection or a deep personal reflection. But is there something that I'm doing as a therapist um, that I might need to adjust, you know, is a client giving me feedback that, um, you know, I don't know, maybe your time that you're offering to clients to meet doesn't really work. Um, maybe clients are feeling like they're stuck. Um, and this is usually much more rare that a therapist is having a bunch of clients cancel uh, because of something that's kind of going on. Um, but it does happen. And so I always encourage um, therapist to utilize supervision, consultation, to talk about these moments in time where a bunch of clients uh, cancel back to back to back. Um, you know, and so, yeah, I mean, if it's not seasonal and it's not just kind of coincidental, you do want to consider, you know, is it something that's, that's going on that I can adjust? Um, and like I said, it's usually not that, um, but why not at least take some inventory? Um, but yeah, I mean, I think these thoughts that, that I'm a failure or I'm, I'm doing something wrong, they come really quick. They usually come like the moment, you know, a couple clients cancel back to back. Um, don't, don't default to that, all right? I know, I know you're gonna think it, I know it's gonna happen, um, but go ahead and just walk yourself even through the things we talked about in this brief video. Um, and just to recap, just figure out why people are canceling, uh, you know, and, and don't overthink it too much. Um, and then two, think about the season you're in. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention, think about the setting you're in. Um, sometimes we're in settings where there's just a lot of cancellation, right? Um, I know a lot of people will talk about being in community mental health centers. There's a lot of last minute cancellations, right? Um, so think about your setting. Um, and then third, uh, you want to take some inventory, right? And think about, are there things that I can adjust or things that I need to do? Um, something I'm doing that's contributing to these cancellations. Um, and as you walk yourself through that, I'm sure you'll find uh, the answer. You'll kind of figure out what's going on. Um, 
But yeah, don't be alarmed uh, when the, these things happen. Adopt a curious mind. We've all been there. I've been there. It stings. Um, and that's just because you care. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, at the very least, I hope it inspires you to be an awesome therapist. Um, oh yeah, you know, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Matt. I'm a therapist in private practice. I own a group practice as well. And I actually like to make videos just like this uh, to talk all about starting, running, and growing private practices. You'll find those videos all over this channel. And I also run a consultation group. It's an online community where people can interact with me directly and I can answer all the questions in great detail that people ask. If you want to know more about that, there's a link down below in the description. Until next time, though, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.